Good morning. Welcome to Monday Morning Roar. Today is Monday, the 8th of March, 2021. The topic for today is leadership in a crisis. You know, we talk about leadership a lot and, and the different styles of leadership, the different uh, functions, how they how leadership works, the different processes to make be a successful leader. But most of the time when we're talking about these, we're talking about, say, in a business situation where maybe you're the manager or the, the owner of the business and, and you've got to lead your, your employees to be more productive and, and more efficient and to reach the, the goals that you have set and to, to, to be aligned with the vision of your company. However, there's another kind of leadership. And it's something that we've been, has been brought to our attention quite a bit in the last year and it's leadership in a crisis. Um, I mean, the COVID-19 crisis is, is, is a great example of, of how leadership works um, or doesn't work, what, what works and what doesn't work. And we can, get, we can learn a lot. And that's the, the greatest thing about it is you can learn a lot. One of, the, one of the things about when there's a crisis, there's decisions that need to be made, but there's not always all the information that you need. And that can pose quite a big problem because we're making decisions based on the information we have, but as the information changes, as we all know, things about COVID-19 are, are still changing a year later. Some of the information you gave six months ago or, or six minutes ago is no longer valid. So it's important to realize that, that you have to be flexible and, and be able to keep up to date and also be, be humble enough to say that, hey, what I said before, might not be valid now, but but nowadays you know things are a little different. And here's the new here's the new information. One important real part, real important part of being in a crisis situation in leadership is is to not panic. It's, it's so important that you keep your cool because what how you are and your attitude and your your response will dictate the response of others. And you don't want everybody to be panicking in the whole situation. So you've got to find the information. You've got to be willing to, to make a mistake, willing to admit mistakes, because mistakes are going to be made. I mean, we're talking about situations, not only the COVID-19, it could be a, a massive power failure in your area and you don't have any heat or electricity or water. It could be an earthquake and, and you're your gas is, is leaking. What are you going to do in the whole neighborhood? What, how, what do you do? How do you lead that? It could be the, the, the fires. You know, the fires are coming over the mountain and, and approaching your house. How do you get your stuff? What do you lead? How do you get people out? Do you just panic and scream and run? Or do you have a, an organized plan to get that out? So it's all type, different types of things that are can be, be crises. I mean, gosh, we don't even think about it as much in California, but, you know, the the ice and the cold and the winter storms and all the snow, that's a, that's a crisis as well that needs to be prepared for. But, but the one unique thing about the COVID-19 is it's something that we really haven't encountered. We, don't have a, we didn't have a practice run five years ago on this. So we've got to learn that it, when you lead, you've got to be patient, you've got to be, you can't panic, and you've got to be ready to, to make decisions, but also be able to, to keep updated on what's new and be able to make new decisions. Have a great day, and I look forward to seeing you next week.